When children adopted as a sibling group have suffered abuse or neglect in their first families, it's really common for them to struggle to believe they're loved in their new families when their siblings are doing well, getting comfort, getting attention, or having love expressed to them. In the birth family, they might have learned that love is finite and conditional. One child might have been favoured over another. My experience is that for any child that's raised in that environment, whether they're preferred child or not, once in the new family, it's unbelievable that everyone can be lovable. For example, a child might only feel loved when their sibling is doing badly or being told off. This story is written from the perspective of the non-faithed child who has grown up believing he can never be enough unless his sibling is failing. It explores how these beliefs from early childhood carry into new homes and, without understanding, can continue to be replayed. In addition, this story addresses the belief that I found deep down in every child I've worked with that's adopted or fostered. That they experienced early abuse and neglect because there was something wrong with them. It is unsurprising that children believe this because all small children think everything is about them. So when experiences are negative, they assume that it was about them too. Just telling the child that it wasn't their fault isn't enough because they feel so strongly that it was. Understanding why they feel that way, as well as explaining that it's not true, helps these children move forward. This story addresses this in a way that doesn't label the birth parents as bad, because doing so may impact the child's sense of identity. It explores the idea that all children within a home can be loved equally, even if it doesn't feel this way. This story is long and complicated, and it isn't suitable for small children. There are other stories that are suitable for small children on my siblings' playlist, details below as well as another version of this story told from the perspective of the preferred child.